I'm delighted. We high, we high. You know what I'm saying? We in there, we looking through the window. You know what I'm saying? And you can you can hear the when they when we got the dub, you can hear them say, man, that set the tree on fire. The tree had caught on fire out there by where we were standing. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. What type of how y'all on, man? Y'all, y'all, y'all was around, man. Yeah, yeah, we was just high. Screw, that was screw little slogan. The pimp the king, you know how he came out with that there. Mm -hmm. Screw used to say that all the time. Yeah, man, pimp that pin, man. Don't be playing, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm telling you, it's going to jump off. You know, like it's three in the morning now. He was telling all of them, you know, man, get ready. You know, I was just booting, you know what I'm saying? I should have been on that album, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't serious about no rap. Subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Yeah, this big trot over here fucking with Danny Houston. I went to Mo City for sixth grade. Then from the sixth grade, <clears throat> we moved back to Pearl Homes. You see what I'm saying? I stayed in the village. I went to Carwell. We moved to the Clark. <clears throat> we moved to Mo City. Then we moved back to South Park. You know what I'm saying? But we moved to Pearl Homes in a house. Mm. At first, it was just me, and my mom, and my sister. We stayed in an apartment in the in Summerwood. You know what some yeah, of yeah, yeah, the village, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. edit that one or something. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But look, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we, uh, we stayed. Wait, so how you get to the four then? I was, that's where I'm from. That's where I, I went, I went to first, second grade. <laughs> Yeah, they want to have a good damn nigga on roll up. <laughs> I ain't <see> Shit. <laughs> That's a big old stomach, man. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, Fourth Ward. I'm from, I'm born in Fourth Ward. That's where my people from. That's where my grandmama lived my whole life. Gotcha. That was the one So that's the constant. Place. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You see gotcha, what I'm gotcha, saying? Gotcha, that's gotcha. where my. That's the foundation. My bred up homeboys hmm. and my first friends in the world and mm -hmm. all that there. My childhood, I went to camp. Downtown YMCA, you know what I'm saying? I fucked around every summer in Fourth Ward. You know what I'm saying? That was the one constant place in my life, all my life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? See, when when we we come back from from Mo City and all that, that we moved back to South Park. I'm going to Cullen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? This is how I know Yellowstone. Okay, see, see, okay, see, okay. Hold on, let me let me let me introduce introduce it because you tying it up, and I was gonna ask you how you got in that mix, being from the foe with everybody from Third Ward and all these hoods. But yeah, let me let me intro the show. Hey man, it's going down this Danny podcast. I am Donnie Houston. Uh, Y'all got a little bit of it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce him, man. Man, when you talk about that 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 SUC man, DJ Screw Screwed Up Click, man, you talk about the foe. You know what I'm saying? It was a few names, man. Uh, Dave, you know what I'm saying? And Troy, man. Troy and Dave, and I got him here. Big Troy, what's going down, what's man? What's happening, homie? How you doing, man? I'm blessed, man. Yeah, so we were just, we were just running down. I was going to ask you how you got tied in with all these other guys being from the foe, but you just broke it down to the fourth ward. Is, that's like the foundation kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But on the real, though, the way I cut into the screw thing is a whole nother episode, though. So growing up, you didn't know anybody from that that happened to end up being screwed up. Click eventually, you didn't cross up with them. I went growing to Cullen. Up? I went to yeah. Cullen and Yates. So you see, so Pokey and all these guys. Yeah, you, I've yeah. been knowing them. Yeah. Photo, photo screw thing. Okay. I went to Cullen. I went to Yates and Cullen. So okay, so who are the who are some of the first people you start meeting that become like names in the South Side in the H? Like growing up, like you say the Pokies and all these guys. Like who are some of the people you growing up with? I mean, I mean, I know all them people. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know all them people from, you know, from me being me and me moving how I move in the crowds of people that I kept. You know what I'm saying? But that's later on in life, though. I mean, growing up here. The same thing. I was. Everything. So as a kid, what, what kind of kid? Were you in the sports and stuff? Like, no, what? I ain't played no sports. No shit? No, I ain't played no sports. I ain't no, I ain't him. No shit. Nah. <laughs> okay, okay, so okay, so break it down to me, nah, man. What, I'm what just was a regular everyday street nigga, man, you know? So how early did you get into the street? You got into the streets as a kid or this like about 14, 15. Oh, as a kid, okay, well, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I've been I've been in the streets, like really. You know what I'm saying? And this is when you on what side of time when you when at this time? 14. I mean, you gotta think, man, uh 
shit. I don't know all that shit. The streets, you know what I'm saying? Where yeah. I went to school after after going to Mo City and all that. When you come back on this side, it's, it's a whole different pace. It's up, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And it's really like all that shit is kind of. So what was the transition Even to say? Then, so what was the transition to say? I mean, everybody got choices. What was yours to say, man? I'm gonna take the street route versus like do what other what the other kids were doing. Even though I'm sure at that time you're talking about crack I mean, era, I'm, kids was out there. So it was. I mean, it was, yeah. I mean, like, uh, ain't too many. I mean, the route I took is the route most took that come through them same patterns and hmm. and, and, and and them trails that you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, like, it was the bigger option. You know what I'm saying? It was the it was the easier option, you know what I'm saying? Dude, when you coming wrong. from when you coming from a place of like your parents not really having money and stuff like that, and you just wanted to get I mean, money, or it was just it more so it like it wasn't really nothing about my parents and nothing like that. There, it was like at some point the areas, you know what I'm saying, the parts of town, the you change, know, the type that crack of schools, came and it just changed. The type of schools the nigga was going to, you know what I'm saying? The crowds, and the, that's what I'm saying. The crowds you keep. You know what I'm saying? That got a big influence on you too. You know, I just really, I didn't, I mean, I ain't gonna, you know, like, I, choices, man. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah, my T, you know, my T, you know, she, she she kept it pretty decent for us. Wasn't no big struggles. You know what I'm saying? We moved a lot, you know what I'm saying? But wasn't no major struggles. It wasn't just ugly on me, you know what I'm saying? It was decent, you know what I'm saying? So that just came from more so like, man, this was happening right now. Boys out here getting money, I want to get some money. I mean, that's just like a cho a choice a nigga made, yeah. And then you know, the route a nigga took about getting some money is really what the difference maker was. You know what I'm saying? So what, 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 what's hustle. it? Nigga wanted to hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going to get a job or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know that you know. So how how you get introduced at 14? Like who's the one that kind of ushers you into the game? I ain't gonna say nobody ushered me. You, you know just know went out man? there one day and was like, shit, I'm out here. Yeah, I had partners my same age. It was a bunch, it was a group of people. You know what I'm saying? It's just what was happening. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, it wasn't no ushering. Ain't nobody took me and led me to doing wrong and no shit like that. Well, I don't you mean know like that, but I'm saying who was the... Because you can say, all right, I want to get in the street, but you still got to have somebody say, all right, bro, well, here's your take this and whatever and whatever. Like, this was more well, of a peer. It, it wasn't, wasn't like a really, big homie. It wasn't really like that. You know what I'm saying? Like... In the ninth grade, you know what I'm saying? At Yates. I this was like 89, where by where you yeah. Well I 90. I was supposed to graduate in the 92, so if it was at Yates, it was probably like my ninth grade, yeah, mm -hmm. huh? 88, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and a few of my partners I still fuck with to this day. You know what I'm saying? They was uh they was going up there on uh sophomore. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I first did something I did on sophomore. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, they was hustling, they was doing something. And uh, I peeped it, you know what I'm saying? Because I already had some, some of my partners that I was, you know, raised with in Fort Ward who was hustling. You know what I'm saying? My uncles and my little partners now, that was my age, they was already in motion. And then a couple of my partners from the school house, they started doing something up there on uh, sophomore. I, I started going up there with them, and I got me a little motion from that. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, so are you, you still trying to go to school at the same time, or you had made your decision that, like, man, I'm getting money, bro. This is. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't just getting no. I mean, you know, it was okay, but I, yeah, I, I stopped going to school. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I stopped going to school kind of early. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I started going back to the foe. So, okay, when we talk about the foe, man, like, y'all used to come to on those screw tapes, man. Like, who is Dave? Tell me about Dave. Oh, Dave, that's my partner. Yeah. Yeah, that's my partner. He was a couple years older than me. Yeah, he a player. He on lock right now. No, no shit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's my nigga, man. Miss Skate, man. Y'all, uh, because I don't know, I just always associate Troy and Dave. Yeah. Y'all used to run like that. Yeah, that's my nigga, man. Yeah. That's my yeah. nigga, man. I mean, I don't know. That's why I got yeah, you here, Dave, bro. I'm just Dave, here to ask the questions, Dave, bro. I don't Dave know, man. Like, like, Dave is like, you know, OG style. He a rap nigga. You know, you ever heard of OG mm -hmm. style here Woods? Mm -hmm. Like, that's like the most talented nigga I ever met. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming out of my hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
And uh, he always been telling it all our life. But the next nigga to try to rap or something that made a tape in my hood is Dave. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Dave, yeah, Dave was, he was the kind of rap nigga. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, he was rapping, rapping. Well, not rapping, rapping, but he was That's into what he wanted the to do. rap shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He thought he could rap and shit like that. You know, it was kind of like more comical for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but that was my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with him and I appreciate him, you know what I'm saying? Because he, you know, he kind of had an influence on me as far as that rap shit go, you know what I'm saying? He like, come on, Neff, nigga, come on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he made a little rap tape in Fort Wall when he was young, you know what I'm saying? So he was more like a rapper than kind of even than me, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't on that, you know what I'm saying? But I had... Him and Juice. Juice is my partner too. He did. Hmm. But that's the first nigga I went to Screw House with. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, I, and all y'all from the phone. Yeah. See, Dave was, he he wasn't, uh, he, me and him didn't go to Screw the same. I think he went to Screw with Demo now. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. You know, Demo, Joe know 27. Demo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's who I think Dave ended up going to Screw with is Demo now. You see what I'm saying? But me and Juice went over there with, Duke from Hersherwood and uh and a nigga named Lil Troy from Grimes Park. You know what I'm saying? Screw was uh standing in uh what's that? Broadway, Broadway? Square. He was Broadway. standing in Broadway Square in some apartments. You was y'all I mean? able to go in at this time or this was you still couldn't go in, you had dropped look, the list out. Look, look, look. Nigga, we couldn't go in, but he let Duke. Man, Duke and Screw them must go way back to like some 10 201 shit or something. Because Duke and them knew them good. You know what I'm saying? Duke and Juice and Troy, you know what I'm saying? They they kicked it real tough. I knew little Troy. I kind of knew Duke, you know, from going over there on Hershwood, going fuck around and, you know, grab something to smoke or something from over there. But I done seen them a few times in the mix. But they said they was going to Screw High. Me and Juice always wanted to get by that. You know what I'm saying? It's young. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so what, what year is this then? Because Duke and them, this is, him this and Kiki and them had already went over there and they had already done uh, their thing. Duke and Kiki and them had already went over there and obviously they had done their thing and they was already in the mix over there. No, hell no. This was no. before Duke and Kiki and all them go Look, over there. Look, Duke was going over there. I don't know if Kiki, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know to the depths of what everybody was doing because Screw wasn't at no house. He was in an apartment. You know what I'm saying? With his dad. You know what I'm saying? And uh he let he let Troy and Duke come in there and flow. So I'm pretty sure. Cause when when me and Lil D talked about Lil DSD one D, mm -hmm. he was like, uh, he was like, Troy, man, I don't know if that story you telling is official. Cause he wasn't letting niggas come in like that. I say, well, I'm just telling you, them niggas was in there flowing, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And D was like, you might, cause he asked Rick, he Rick, man, when you hear Troy. He say, no, nah, D, he used to let some niggas go in there. You know what I'm saying? Because Duke and Lil Troy was in there rapping. Wait, Lil Troy want to be a baller, Lil Troy? No, nah, no, nah, not Lil Troy. A little nigga from Grimes Park. Oh, that Grimes Park. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Grimes Park. You know, so they was in there on the mic and shit, and I'm outside playing with a lighter. Me and Juice, we standing outside. You know how them, them, them trees and shit with that hair looking mm -hmm, shit on it mm -hmm. in them apartment? I'm fucking with the lighter. We high, we high. You know what I'm saying? We in there, we looking through the window. You know what I'm saying? And you can you can hear the when they when we got the dub, you can hear them niggas say, man, that nigga done set the tree on fire. The tree had caught on fire out there by where we were standing. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. What type of high y'all was on, man? Y'all, y'all, y'all was fucking around, man. What? Yeah, we was just high. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh they come up out of there. Screw moved after that. That's when screw moved to rep. Wait, wait, wait. So you fucking around with that tree is what led to him going to move. Yeah, I think either him and his daddy fell out or they got put out or some shit like that there. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so you burnt the whole tree down? No, nah, the tree caught on fire. They had to come outside and put it out. You know what I'm saying? You know <laughs> okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, screw up. How old are you about this time? We're like 18, probably 19? Like, it's probably like 93, hmm. 94. You know what I'm saying? I think screw must have moved over there in 93 or 94. You know what I'm saying? Whatever year that was. That's about how I was probably like 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And uh, Did you have a relationship with Screw at the time? Or this was just some this guy you was just going? Screw. This oh, gotcha. is how I met Screw. So your first time going over yeah, there, you started I, all this shit. It was shit. dramatic. The first time I ever went over there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when he moved some kind of way. Did he move to the house at the time? Or yeah, he moved yeah. to Reveille. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Off Reveille. And uh, from when he moved. In some kind of way, he got back at me. You know what I'm saying? He said, man, tell that nigga he can come over here and do whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, that nigga was tight from that day on. That nigga was like, screw probably like, shit. I wouldn't bullshit you, man. He probably like the realest nigga a nigga met throughout his lifetime, bro. Hmm. Yeah, he was like. What that, is the man. thing that 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 made him? Cause everybody say that. But what is the thing that you say that made him that special? Like say, man, it's the realest. Oh, it's like uh, his his compassion and his realness with you. You know what I'm saying? He really don't want nothing from you, and he appreciate who you is to him. You know what I'm saying? The 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 vibe he get from you. Is kind of like he reciprocated good. You know what I'm saying? It's like he appreciated well. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, that nigga was, he was an authentic nigga, man. It was it, did y'all have a certain bond or certain that something that y'all that was like, this was y'all thing that y'all kind of got down on? Man, no, not nothing, not nothing like on a special tip. I think, man, Screw was just real with everybody, I think, man, because. Mm. Say, man, it was so many different players come through there and fuck with him and be, man, damn, so, so, so just real with him, probably. You know what I'm saying? Or feel like what they doing is real with him. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. everybody fuck with him how they fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? And he fuck with you how he fuck with you. But yeah, Screw was on some, man, Screw had a phone. Any nigga in jail can call this motherfucker who he fuck with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's before the, the, you know what I'm saying? That shit was early, P. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Screw was a different type, bro. So, yeah, me and him, we we clicked real good, though. That was my nigga, man. On some. Yeah, I'll just go kick it. It wouldn't even be no tape. Just Yeah, just on the cool. You know what mm. I'm saying? It ain't every every time me and Screw linked up, wasn't by no dub or no shit like that. Mm. Yeah. Man, talk about just on some. You talking about early screw? Like, talk about how early do you get introduced to like Serb and like how they come to be a part of like the whole movement, the culture, and everything that was going on like around that time when y'all was all getting together and shit. Yeah, I was kind of drinking Serb before I started fucking screw now. No you shit. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that was a common thing. That was like, uh, I'm fifty. You know what I'm saying? I probably started. So this is back when it was like booms. Y'all putting in booms and all that shit. No, nah, we when, when we first started drinking. Served me and juice, you know what I'm saying? We was just drinking raw syrup, you know what I'm saying? No shit. Yeah, and then boom form came later. Hmm. Yeah. But that was way before screw. No shit. Yeah, that was before. That was before screw. Yeah, that was probably like 17, 16, 17 years old we started drinking syrup. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I mean, yeah, syrup was, syrup was, uh. That just, that's just something you know to just be around. Yeah, cause I I, uh, I had big cousins and shit who drunk syrup. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, I had people in my family who used syrup. You know what I'm saying? So it was I seen it a lot. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Mm. And I probably always wanted some of this. I, I didn't I always want none, but once I got in the streets and my big cousin let me taste it, and then I see some of the oldest niggas on it. You know what I'm saying? I liked it. I wanted some, and it was dirt cheap. Mm. It was dirt cheap. The shit was twenty dollars a four when we first started drinking. Come on, you know man. what I'm saying? Come yeah, on. man. The paint was seventy five dollars, man. Come on, man. Yeah, when the nigga first started drinking, it wasn't no deuces and lines. And seventy five like for a pint? Yeah, it was like seventy five for paint. And this bar, this is bar yeah, at the bar. Time. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, that sounds crazy. That's the same as how much the green is right now. Yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how sweet it was. That's crazy. Man, so how did how does uh when do you start seeing like cause it's like it's DJ Screw doing his thing, but then the screwed up click for him where it's like all oh, these guys, like you say the players start coming around and now y'all at the crib and you linking up with this one from this side and this and that. Like talk about how that whole thing came together. Well, it was just different players just came through. You know what I'm saying? Different niggas make dubs. You know, something different going on with one of their partners. They might be celebrating him or sending him off or, you know what I'm saying, they got to go do a bid or something. It's just, you know, different niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, the clique shit probably, when niggas start rapping, it's probably like when, uh, it's a little bit before Kiki came out or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Because 
Screw, that was Screw little slogan. The pimp the pin, you know how he came out with that there? Mm -hmm. Screw used to say that to a nigga all the time. Yeah, man, pimp that pin, man. Don't be playing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm telling you, it's going to jump off. You know, like it's three in the morning album. He was telling all of them niggas, you know, man, get ready. You know, I was just bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? I should have been on that album. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't serious about no rap shit. Mm. Like everybody else was. You feel what I'm saying? So screw telling y'all like it's finna go down. Yeah, he telling nigga, yeah, man, mm. pimp the pen, man. Y'all tripping, man. Get on it, man. All that freestyling cool, pimp that pen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, screw was on that like that. Screw was It's straight. the first time I done heard somebody talk about screw telling boys like that freestyling cool, but you need to be writing though. Like, yeah, screw was on that. Screw was man, you see the first song key when you heard when the world mm. heard key. What, what, ain't mm -hmm. that was his verses? Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't saying Key wasn't on it too. Whatever he was on, he was on. But I'm saying Screw was on that too. You know what I'm saying? Screw was saying, yeah, man, pimp the pen, man. Mm. Yeah, for real. You talked to Key before? Yeah. He so Key ain't never said that? Key ain't never say Screw was on no I don't key know if he told me that he told me. I remember he, he's told me about how he had the opportunity and he went over there and the first time he, he rapped it for Screw and like how that yeah. went. But I don't know if he told me that Screw told him like I don't pin. know if Screw told him, but I but know that, that was, was his like thing though. Something Screw said regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? Pimp the pen, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think. At this time, at this time, it was probably, I'm saying niggas going over that flow, it was probably uh key pad. ESG had been going over there too for a long time, but I'm just saying regulars going over there dubs, rapping, flowing, breaking dubs, you know what I'm saying, every so often. Key, Pat, Pokey, KK now. Biden was pretty early too, right? Biden and them, yeah, Biden and them been making dubs, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, on that breaking, on them dubs, Key, Pat, and Pokey, and I used to go over there and make a dub here and there, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Key would. Screw had to say that. Screw would say that. Yeah, man. Pimp that pen, man. Yeah, all this here, it's going to go down. You know what I'm saying? Screw was serious about that rap shit, man. Screw was serious about that whole movement. Hmm. Hell yeah, he put it together, if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? He was the catalyst. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking what no, nobody else achievement. And what they did, but being real, the movement was his. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm. he put he put that play together, man. Damn, they orchestrated. And yeah, like you say, you was just bullshit, but it was open. If you was around, it was open for you to be involved. However, oh, yeah. you wanted to be involved. Oh yeah. Just... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He mm. was dead serious. Mm. And he 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 know where you fitted in at. You know what I'm saying? He kind of felt it for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because. Mo and them, Mo was coming over that end, you know what I'm saying? Mo been coming over that a long time. You know what I'm saying? Mo was in the choir and everything in Cullen. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so you knew Mo back so Yeah, right. see, I knew Mo from Cullen, you know what I'm saying? Okay, talk let's talk about Big Mo. Talk about Big Mo. How early do you meet Big Mo? Middle school. Yeah, Mo was at Mo was in the choir in middle school. He what what, what you remember about Big Mo? He was funny and all this other type yeah, of shit. Yeah, he was a hell of a nigga, Kenna Mo. Big yeah. Kenna, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was a hell of a fella, man. Mo hmm. mama and my mama was cool. Hmm. Yeah, Miss Terry Mo. Yeah, that's that's my mama friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I knew Mo real good. You know what I'm saying? Him and my sister in the same grade. You know what I'm saying? But Mo was a hell of a fella too. Man, what what's what's your mo what's probably the most standout memory of Big Mo? You would say? Shit, man, I got so many memories with Mo. Go back to middle school. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just going by his highs out there. Street over from Dixie and fucking with him real strong. He was a hell of a nigga on that game. He played the shit out there, Madden and all that shit. And he a giggling motherfucker, man. He can giggle <laughs> for hours, man. <laughs> and man, that, like that, yeah, that nigga Mo can do that shit, man, so much he'll make you start laughing, man. Yeah, that nigga was a giggling motherfucker. That nigga can sing whatever. Hmm. He can sing whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mo proud of the lives to me on that singing shit come after uh, Nate Dog, P. Hmm. Yeah, Mo was serious hmm. with that singing shit. He could really sing. Like I'm telling you, he was in the choir in the sixth, seventh grade. 
Mm-hmm. He probably was in the church choir. I don't know. But he was in the he was in the choir for sure in the sixth or seventh grade. But so so Cullen, so Pokey is there over there too as well. Yeah, right? Pokey went to Cullen. So what what's some of your standout memories of Pokey, man? I just remember when me, King, and Boo did a dub at Screw Highs and Pokey was at Yellowstone Park when we was playing. Oh man, Pokey and Lil Pop. Mr. Sweets, mm-hmm. you remember that nigga? Mm-hmm. I know you talking about yeah, Sweet yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Pop, man. Pop was a real nigga too. But uh Yeah, and uh Poker was up there, you know what I'm saying? He was how crunk he was just to hear some niggas rapping on the dub. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, yeah, Screw was the first nigga put Wait, this before he had to went on the dub. Yeah, that's before Poker went on the dub. Hmm. Yeah, that's before Poker went on the dub. He was wired up too, man. He was wired up, bro. He was crunked in a motherfucker just to hear niggas he knew on the on the tape. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he after that though, man, Poker went over there took and smashed off. every mm-hmm. time he mm-hmm. went over there. Mm-hmm. Poker was a smasher, man. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Did it trip you out of these guys that you knew from just neighborhood guys? How they popped, huh? How they popped and went on to be these is our legends, they, bro. Yeah, they legendary. You show sure right, P. You show sure right. They legendary in their own right. They mm-hmm. legends, man. H time live living. Lip. Now you say screw. We talk. Yeah, Key, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to that in a minute because it's, it's a few of y'all still, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. this guy Screw, who you went over his house, just, I'm going to go with my partner. I done fucked around and burnt the man tree down, you know what I'm saying? And this man is a is a global icon. Yeah, he was thing. sick with it, bro. He was sick with it. Screw, hmm. Screw's the ultimate, man. Screw's live nigga, man. Hmm. Yeah. You gotta, it's hard what really made him such a, such a unique motherfucker. Don't get me wrong. He's super on, on, on in his art, you know what I'm saying? He's super in his art. You know, when he did that three in the morning shit, I think Screw was mixing on maybe five or six different turntables mm-hmm. or some shit he was doing. You know what I'm saying? And he was telling the nigga about it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, big boy, I'm doing, hey, yeah, I'm displaying my talent and all that. Now, nah, this ain't simple here, Troy. This is a whole different, this ain't what I'm doing in here in this little room. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, oh, he letting you know, right? Yeah, nigga, some, this is something else. Nigga, watch, nigga. When it come out, I'm going to be showing you. And when he dropped it, he'd tell a nigga, nigga, see how you hear that tell nigga, and you hear this? Yeah, I'll do that. that was a mixtape. That was a dub. You know what I'm saying? During the morning was a dub. Yeah, so. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, school was the other one. Who was the, who was the, hey, this is a controversial question. You have been around all of them. Who was the freestyle king? Because you just seen him from early on. Oh, Pat. Give it to Pat? Off top. Why, why Fat Pat? Cause he he the whole package when he was used to freestyle, you know what I'm saying? It damn near would have sound rehearsed or something, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, he a bad nigga, you know what I'm saying? He bad, man. Facts. He super Facts. bad, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But it, just being honest, if you was in there, man, if you ask anybody who used to be in there, man, that nigga charisma, that nigga everything was out the roof, and then when he get on the mic, you could damn near hear it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we always cut through, man. You, yeah. yeah, he got a, he got a, he was strong, he had an outstanding voice. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I, I say Pat, but Pat gone. You know what I'm saying? The next up in line was Key, man. All bullshit to the side. You know what I'm saying? Key, mm-hmm. Key was right there with Pat when niggas was doing dub. Key gonna be damn that only. But Poker was sick too, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Poker yeah. freestyle was awesome too, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had their moments to shine, but if I just had to call it, I'd say Pat. But what what made Pat just in general so live? Just Patrick Hawkins. What would you say just made Pat just like made him who he was? His flamboyancy. Hmm. Yeah, his flamboyancy, man. And it came through in his rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, he was a real flamboyant big nigga, man. You got a favorite Pat memory? Because everybody got these stories of Pat. He just come in the room and just, just light it up. Like, he just took it over. I don't know, man. Pat was just different every time you see him. You know, he wasn't no everyday nigga for me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, you didn't see him often? No, nah, I, I seen him at Screw Eyes, really. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't no, he wasn't no nigga that I ran across randomly. Was you that, know what I'm saying? Was that, I know Dave was on there. Was that you on No Drink with them? No, nah, that was him and Dave. That was, was him and Dave. Dave. I know Dave. Boo. Yeah. My partner, Boo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boo on lock, too. Come on home, Boo, man. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's Boo crazy. you. My nigga, yeah. too. That's my nigga, too. That's when me, him, and King used to do dubs together. See, I did dubs with, with different people. You done people. with Hawk? With, I mean, you done yeah, it with I some... Yeah, I did dubs with different people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would go over there with King. 
Me and King would go over there. Me and Boo would go over there. Me and Juice used to go over there a lot. And me and Dave used to go over there a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I done got caught up in it mixed with everybody because, like I'm telling you, Screw is my partner. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't just no dub thing. You know what I'm saying? Me and Screw fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, until he moved to Mo City. You know what I'm saying? So what, what was, you say until he moved, what was the, what was the thing with Mo City? Where well, I just didn't, I, you know what I'm saying? I didn't go out there that much at that time. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I just wasn't going out there that much. You know what I'm saying? We, I think I would, I might have did one dub out there in Mo City. You feel what I'm saying? I was gonna ask you about that because you know they they talk a lot about screwing like that transition by the time he got to Mo Mo City and Pat had to die and all these things start happening like did you see a change like in Screw just over time? I ain't I ain't I ain't gonna say I seen a, a change in Screw. I say uh, times change. Hmm. You know what I'm saying and. Everybody was on their own thing, you know what I'm saying? You got to think everybody had done did a song. A, a, everybody got albums and shit. Yeah, everybody done did them, a, you know, a jam or whatever they done came out. And Screw, uh, Screw was still on him, you know what I'm saying? Screw was still doing it, and he had to start fucking with Ro now, you know what I'm saying? You know, Ro was kind of like mm -hmm. talented motherfucker. I don't know what him and Ro on, because I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, in the mix with him that much no more, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, whatever Screw was into or whatever he was doing, I don't know. I didn't see. I don't know if that had an effect on what happened or how he died or nothing. But, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had matured. And I don't think everybody was still on, like, how, we, how you know, that, that first, that, that, that nucleus that began it with him. I don't think it was around him no more. You know what I'm saying? I can't say if that had an effect on how he went out or what happened or nothing, I can't I can't speak on that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But I would say that the that 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 thing that had began, it wasn't it wasn't still that. You know, maybe the emotionally or but you know men, man, you know, you gotta go on your own journey. You know what I'm saying? Well, he birthed it, you know what I'm saying, he watched it grow, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't I don't I can't say, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm in do doing my life. I'm in my life, in my zone. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Re you know, taking care of my life's issues. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't so, you know what I'm saying? That shit, it had to be going from like, what? 93, 92 to what? Tomorrow City, that's 98, 99. Yeah, that's when he died in 99. Well, now he died in 2000, but. Yeah, so yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's from 20 to probably 30 or 20 to 27. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, so things kind of, you know, everybody went on their journeys. You know what I'm saying? They they took their endeavors and what life got for them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he, he took heels. He was still going on his music thing. He was fucking with Ro. He was still doing dubs. You know, he was still fucking around. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. But... Every time I ever saw him, every time we ever talked, it was all love. He ain't changed. He, his personality, his attitudes, you know, his, his, uh, you know, his realness or how he greets you and fuck with you. It was always 1,000. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Always 1,000. Hmm. Hell yeah. You remember the last time you talked to him? Uh, I probably talked to Screw. A month and a half, two months before he died or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sound the same, you know. He play, he bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Ask you how is it, what you been up to, and come fuck with him, man. Come fuck with me, Troy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Man, uh, they just they just said uh, Big Jut passed away, man. Yeah, when you were close with Jut back in the day? Yeah, yeah, me and Jut. Y'all had some dubs. I know I'm pretty yeah. sure y'all had some dubs. Yeah. We had some dubs and just cut a nigga half before. We flowed on the CD a couple times. Yeah, Joe was a cool big old nigga, man. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He's bad with them clippers. He used to cut a nigga half over there and screw out his hand now. Hmm. He's bad, though. That was he used to barber, though. See, Judd used to cut right here in front of Broadway when that boy Pokes say get cut by that Judd. Yeah, uh, I know he's at, at, yeah. at a King's. At our King's. I used yeah. to cut our King's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm telling you, man, I know a lot of niggas, man. I live there. We 
you didn't hear me tell you everywhere I live. Yeah. So I knew people, them same people who I was seeing around school highs and all that, I just ran across them in life before we got there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? So, but screw, screw was, a, you know, the connection on screw with every, he was really, he knew that music like that. He go wherever you want to go on the music tip. It wasn't just no rap shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you you line to be telling them some shit you ain't used to jam back in the game when you was a kid. That nigga go right over there in one of them crates and get that motherfucker. Hmm. Yeah, that nigga screw was sick, man, when you come to that music. You loved it. That shit. What's, some, what's some of the stuff, like you say, y'all would, it wouldn't have to be no tape for y'all to kick it. Like, what was some of them moments kind of like? Like, was it more so, like you say, y'all talking about Scooter music? Screw have been to the foe more than once. You know, everybody in the city ain't going to say, yeah, I used to be out there in four wars. You know okay, talk man? about Fort War. What what was what was going on in Fort War back then? Oh, a bunch of hustling. Hmm. Yeah, for me and my partners and the, the average motherfucker out there was nothing but a bunch of hustling going on in my neighborhood. Hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Man, bro, do you do you do you see yourself as being a part of something? As as a at the magnitude that it is, being part of the SUC and what this whole thing is like. Well, but you just look at like, man, I was just with my partners, man, and it just happened to just be this thing. It ain't even. Yeah, that's how I see it. Mm. That's how I see it. You know, as large as it is, as large as you look at it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the era and the time spent. You know what I'm saying? And it was all love, and it's still all love. You know what I'm saying? But uh, just. As far as looking at, ooh, we screwed up, click, or whatever, I can appreciate it for what it was, man. It was live, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't nothing that's just etched and sketched in me like that, you know what I'm saying? I love them niggas, man. It was, it was player than a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But it's some bigger things came across my lane, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what? Let's talk about it. Shit, man, I, I did dialysis for eight years. Fuck my kid now, you know what I'm with saying? The, fuck with the sir? I, well, I don't know if it was the sir. Hmm. That a bunch of people say that, but I don't know if it's that. You can't no pinpoint doc, it. No doctor it, it. never told me that. You know what I'm saying? They say my blood pressure. Hmm. You know your blood pressure fuck up your kidney, but a bad kidney will give you high blood pressure. So you got to decipher which one came first in your life. You know what I'm saying? So. So know. wait, wait. So what? So what year did I? Did you start getting hit with all that? Uh, I, I got on uh, dialysis in 2012. Juice died in 2012. So how did he pass away? Did he had the same issues or something? No, he had a, he had an accident. He ran in the back of an ambulance. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my partner. Yeah, that was like my brother, Juice. Yeah, that was my nigga, man. He needed to get his rest good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He left a lot of wounded hearts out there. Hmm. He was a good nigga. Real good nigga. So 20, 2012, they hit you with that, and then you say seven years you was on the dial. Eight years. Eight years. I got on off dialysis. in 2020. I've been, I've been uh, having a transplant for four years. Man, congratulations, bro. Yeah, thanks, homie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Man, bro. Did that shit make you, because I'm getting older now, bro, and I be thinking about that shit like, Man, I be hoping that I don't get hit with nothing too serious on that health side, bro, because everybody not blessed to get a kidney. Everybody ain't blessed to well, make it through these situations, man. Like, did you go back and think, like, man, I could have done some shit different. I could have, you know. I can't say that. You know hmm. what I'm saying? You don't know if you're going to get something hereditary or whatever. You can't just, you just can't go to blaming yourself for a goddamn thing that <laughs> happened. You know? You, no, I feel, you. I feel Come you. on, man. Yeah. yeah. You can't, you can't, uh. You know, you're going to hold your, you, it's a such thing as accountability, but you just can't go can't to blaming yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? Man, you don't know if you the cause of everything that go bad with you, man. You think when a nigga break their leg, they think that's their fault? No. Huh? No. So how a nigga going to think of organ failure or something like that? You got fault on that. I got partners who drunk more served than me, way more served than me. And never had all the issue. niggas that drunk served with me. I'm one of the only ones I know that had to go get a kidney transplant. Mm. Out of all the people, Mo ain't had to, Screw ain't had to, Pat and them, Pat wasn't no big 
serve head like the rest of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mike D was a serb drinking motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had no kidney transplant. All my partners, man. So I ain't gonna say no serb did that to me, man. That's what hmm. that's how people talk. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean what they saying is real. Like I just told you, ain't no doctor told me nothing about no serb. So to answer your question, I don't know, but you know, I don't hop on that. You know what I'm saying? I my daddy kidney went out. Hmm. Why I couldn't have come nah, from that's that? No, that's a real answer. That's Why a I real answer. Come from that? You see what I'm saying? That just happened to me in my life. I can't say, man, look at all the people drank syrup. Come on, man. I couldn't have been drinking syrup the most out of everybody. You think that could have right, been the case? Right. Nah, nah. Nah. nah, nah the hell, boy's going nah. hard. Nah, I know. Nah, hell, I know. Nah, 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 nah. So I ain't going to blame that on no syrup. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's what happened to me in my life. God seemed fit for me to get another kidney. I got another kidney. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Ain't no sweat. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What's for me is for me. Do you, do you take different uh, precautions now? Like different, man, I gotta yeah. take medicine. Hmm. And I don't eat the same. Man, I used to be 320, 340 pounds. Man, I was Big Troy. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? And some people don't still want me to be Big Troy. Hmm. Yeah, man, Big Troy did all kind of fool shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. You feel what I'm you say, saying? You say food shit, food shit. Like, well, who, yeah, who, 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 who was Big Troy versus Well, I mean, you know, I was just... Young and wild. Yeah, you know, living at the rate of life. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And God humbled me. That's how I took the dialysis thing and hmm. all that. You know what I'm saying? Were you still going... Were you still living like that up until everything happened? Yeah, I was still going hard. You hmm. know what I'm saying? Hmm. You feel that me? That was that wake-up call. Yeah, that's how I see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga had to make some changes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't the worst time in my life. It was a time in my life when I was had something to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Because everything else was kind of like planned. You know what I'm saying? Or you could see that occurring in life, like children and all that. That was, you know, that was expected. But a health issue. You can't you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you know, you ain't expecting that. You ain't prepared for that. That's like a, that's like shock. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's like shock treatment. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's the same thing. Like some niggas go to prison, right? But I would, I would say that. But you got to think, man. Prison, it takes something for that to happen. You know, that's like a cause and an effect. You got to that's do just, something to get there. You yeah, had yeah. to do something to get there. A health issue, man. You could be just living and walking, and boom, I got cancer. Boom, I got this. You know what I'm saying? Boom, a heart attack. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's like a life issue. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You just, and you know, well, I ain't going to downplay prison or none of that. You know what I'm saying? But a health issue is different. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's shock value in it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no court and I can beat it. And yeah, man, you got to deal, you got to with, deal this with that time. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal with this. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, yeah. Man, man, bro, that's a blessing, man. Yeah, big blessing. That's a blessing, the Biggest man. in my life so far. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Boy, I say 320, though. Damn, big Troy for real. Yeah, I was about 320. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> man, hold up. Okay. Well, man, well, what's next, bro? You got, you got, you got, you got a whole new, you got a new life in yeah, front of you, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't really call it. I see the podcast thing jumping out. I don't know how... That's what I wanted to see how, how uh, what they call it, you know how how I am on TV. Yeah. How I traject into the camera. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I might try some podcasting or something. Well, my son, he's a DJ. I got a little niece. She's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? She make a little noise. Dre is my son Tay. He's a DJ. DJ Tay, and uh, I got a little nephew. His name TT. He's a wild little nigga out the west. He real crunk. He got he got his legs and shit shot off. You know I be telling him to calm oh, down man. on the rah rah. Oh, well, he still turned with his legs up. Yeah, he still turned, man. He got one leg. He still turned, but he crunk on the rap thing and he got some. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, you know a nigga, a nigga ain't no telling what a motherfucker line to do and could do, but mm. a nigga got to do something. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Nigga got to do something, man. You feel me? So I say I'll come up here and fuck with you and see if you can give me a tip or two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me know, you know, 
guide me in the right direction if you woke to something. You no, know for saying? sure. I mean, bro, the podcast. It's a real avenue. Yeah, no, nah, the podcasting thing, the possibility is endless, bro. I think it's not as, it's a. Uh, the lane is a, ain't as open as it was when I first started. Mm hmm. So it's a little harder to get in there and kind of get you some traction, but I ain't saying that to discourage you. I'm just giving you some real shit. Yeah, you know I saying? ain't, man. Listen. But, but. Listen, I, I think, done heard I a think, million good ideas, and I ain't took none and ran <laughs> with it, man. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. I'm just giving you your card and your props and, and you know, yeah. letting you know, man, shit, man. You might can influence the next bad motherfucker. You yeah, know what nah, I'm saying? I appreciate you. Nah, it's just, I think, bro, the biggest thing is finding something that ain't nobody doing. Yeah. If you find a lane and you get a conversation going about something that ain't nobody talking about, that was my thing when I first started. Wasn't nobody talking about like Houston like screwed up, like going super yeah. deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. And that's that's what helped me out. So that's what I tell everybody. Like you gotta find them spots where ain't nobody talking about whatever it is, and but it's an interest for it. You feel me? And if you really ain't gonna know till you start doing the shit. Cause it took me a while. Like I did it for a while, and then I, over time it started picking up. You know what I'm saying? But like it's just some shit you just gotta do, bro, and and not go into it saying I'm finna get rich. Cause if you go into it and say I'm I'm doing this for money, you are gonna quit before you get started. Good. Right. Cause it don't work like that. Yeah. I mean, you can get to the money, but you it's not something you finna jump into, start and, and immediately you just run start. Up no bag. It don't work. Nah, like you gotta keep your whole like job. That. You need you need your whole job. This ain't no yeah. This ain't no this ain't no escape plan. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah. this ain't that. They yeah. can do great things for you, but you got to stick with the shit and you got to you know. And you got to grow. Mm -hmm. You got to work. You got to work the shit. That's yeah. what I'm gonna say. You got to work. Yeah. It. You know? I heard. You feel me? I heard you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn big Troy, man. Man, I wish Dave was here, bro. Like, well, I, you and me, boy. That nigga <laughs> bad. You rolling. <laughs> Ain't nothing like Dave in the so world. So Dave is a Dave more of a character. He more Hell of... yeah, Dave a character, nigga. <laughs> she one of the biggest, brightest characters you ever see in life. No shit. You goddamn right. How, how much longer you got before you come on? Shit, Dave got a real beard, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Dave got a real beard, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, man, free Dave, man. Yeah, you that's know? right. Yeah. Free Dave, for real. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Goddamn big Troy, man. What's well, shit? What's your, what's your favorite? Uh, you have a favorite memory of going to Screw House and making a dub over there? Man, I got memories. All of them endless, man. Hmm. Hell yeah, man. Screw was special. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. Every moment, every moment gonna be cherished. What's the take me through the making a dub process? You you show up to Screw House. I know everybody said it used to be a while before the tape gets started. Like, take oh, me through that whole through that whole thing. You know what I mean? Huh? Take take me through the whole process of you making a dub. Like, you going to Screw House and like how that whole day looks like. Like, what is that day like? Well, you know, at first, nigga used to get Screw a list. Now, I don't know if everybody, every dub made a list, but I gave Screw probably one list or two, probably two lists in my whole, out of every dub I ever been on. A lot of times I was just over there and Screw would just start jamming and make a dub. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then we'll name it or he'll name it when it's over. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. But I probably did uh I probably had a list for Street Dream and uh Robin Street for Life or some shit like that. I ain't had no list for everything, but you know, a lot of people gave screw list and when he come over there, he make the dub. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't gonna get started to probably like two or three in the morning. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be over there bullshitting and fucking with CDs and we gonna be drinking and kicking it. Getting right now. Yeah, over here. Screw was bad on that pool table. Hmm. Yeah, Screw shoot the shit out of some pool. He gonna beat the average nigga on the pool table. Hmm. He played the Madden and all that shit. He was into them games and shit. Yeah, Screw was on all that shit, man. Hmm. Yeah, Screw was just authentic good nigga, like I say. But the dub, the dub situation, I can't say how it went with everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I know when I went over there, we gonna damn near talk about music and play other shit before he ever get to my shit. You know what I'm saying? My dub, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be on some whole other shit. You So, so you know, I, when you go to screw houses, man, I'm just gonna be over here, bro. Oh yeah, you are gonna be over there. It's, yeah, if you finna do a dub, hell yeah, you gonna be <laughs> over there. You know what I'm saying? But niggas come over there and just get stuck fucking with screw, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, screw, screw something, man. 
Hmm. Yeah, he was somebody. To, you know, he was somebody to be around. You know what I'm saying? He was a. He was a. But he was real mild mannered though. He, like he was super chill. Yeah, he was. He was. He, yeah, he had one mode. Hmm. He had one mode. Yeah, he was super mild mannered. Hmm. But he was sarcastic. He was silly. No shit. Yeah, he he could joke. He, he he's a jokester. You know what I'm saying? He liked the flow. You know, screw like the flow. You know what I'm saying? And when you and him sitting there, he gonna Yeah, yeah, screw gonna spit his shit. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, screw something else, man. Cool hmm. motherfucker. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. You one of the first people to come here and talk about his personality, like just him being a jokester in the game. And then I'm this is my first time hearing these different types of things. But if man. you start asking niggas, yeah. I don't know if that's something that come into your questionnaire or nothing, yeah. but everybody who been around him kind of know that. You know what I'm saying? Screws, mm. yeah, he had a person, a hell of a personality. He was mild, like you say, he wasn't, he wasn't rah-rah or crunk or nothing. Screw liked to get clean and dust himself off and you know what I'm saying? You see, Screw had a piece when everybody else got their pieces. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, man. Wait, so you say he wasn't crunk. You ain't never seen him be like, man, it's going down. Or like, oh, no, nah, I ain't never seen him crunk like that. He be like, yeah, you know it's going down. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's Screw. Screw ain't screw ain't fired up. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. Key and Pat was, you know what I'm oh, saying? They being that, they yeah, being they, that was, they was fired up, you know what I'm saying? But Screw wasn't fired up and crunk like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Screw was screw was screw like you say screw was my man. He was mm -hmm. kind of more laid back, well reserved. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't never seen him hit no hood or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I remember when he got his first hoop, he got a little uh, a photo of the sable. You know what I'm saying? A little baby the sable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was screw first hoop. He was fired up on that bitch too. Nigga, you know I had to come through here and show you the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, okay, screw. Yeah, screw's a real nigga, man. Well, so you know how to come through and show DJ. you the hoop, Nate. <laughs> yeah. He come through the floor a few times, fuck with me. That's what's up, man. Talk, so talk about Robin Street. I'm about to drive over on Robin Street. I meant to do that before I came to talk to man, you, bro. Man, they done like, gentrified my gentrified. area, man. Hmm. Yeah, it's a whole different world, P. Hmm. Yeah, Robin Street was all day party. Towards the uh, what? Cause y'all right there downtown, like yeah, the hood. That's what I'm telling you. The hood that for what ain't used to sleep, man. Bitches used to roll all day, every day, man. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, it's between Montrose and downtown. You know what I'm saying? You so know, it's action all night on them streets. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So like a little baby gold mine for a nigga who was into the things I was into. You know what I'm saying? So. I had something to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, I had something to do, but it's gentrified. Now nah, it's a wrap. You ride through there. It don't look nothing like it look. You know what I'm saying? The people still over there or they moved out? It's a few people. Maybe a handful of people. You know what I'm saying? It's somewhere to sit and talk. You know what I'm saying? We got a park. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's somewhere to sit and talk and, you know, but it ain't, it ain't like what a nigga was, you know, what a nigga used to out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. Be sure. Well, man, bro, I'm, I, at some point, I'm going to have to bring you back on here, man. I got, I'm got. i going to have to come up with some more shit because you didn't kind of put some stuff on me to have yeah. me go out and, and come up with some more questions, man. But, uh, man, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Oh, I, yeah. Like I, I said, you and Dave, I've been wanting to be my whole life, bro. Yeah, okay, Troy and Dave huh? out the fold, man. I, yeah. You know, y'all legendary to me, man. So, boy, you mm. ain't bullshitting, boy. I know, boy, you done met that Dave. You done met a hell of a fella, man. Mm. I ain't bullshitting. Ain't nothing in the world like this, dude. Is, is he a bigger dude, too, or what? Yes, but Dave is tall. Dave hmm. probably 6'2", might be 6'3". Oh, basketball playing motherfucker. We went to Yates, Booger T, and, and uh, Reagan. I think he started everywhere he went. He was a super hooper. Hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about a bad motherfucker, one of them niggas you see and you say you know he going to the league. So I ain't go. He chose the streets? He got to start getting in trouble at, at Yates. He went to jail or something over there. Hmm. Some yeah, some went on with him at school. He went to jail. Yeah, but I mean, man, choices, man. Choices, bad motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know that. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Man, one of your choices probably got you right here where we at. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Nah, it is a crazy thing. It don't take but one to change your whole life, man. Huh? Yeah. I'm talking about one. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, shit real. Um, but yeah, man, I, I don't know, bro. Troy and Dave, man, at the four, bro. Y'all boys just... Yeah, all legendary, man. You know I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. That's a real look, there, man. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Big Troy down in Houston. It's down in Houston podcast. All right, man, whip out here. Down in Houston. Down in Houston. Subscribe to the Down in Houston podcast, man.